Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix your PlayStation 4 not connecting to the internet. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So if your PlayStation 4 is not connecting to the internet, go ahead and try this simple step. So let's go up to settings right now, and then scroll on down under this list and go to initialization. And then go to restore default settings. Then type in 0000 into this box right here. And then the following settings on your PlayStation 4 will be reset. This will include your PlayStation Network sign in information. So you will need your email address and password to sign back in. So all these settings will be reset. However, located in there is network settings. So whatever Wi-Fi or LAN connection you have currently connected to your PlayStation will be reset to its normal value. So you'd have to reconnect. So all you have to do is go to restore and then your PlayStation will reset. And then you just have to log back in with your email address and password. Then go ahead and back out and then go back up to settings and then go down to network, go to set up internet connection. And for me, I'm going to choose LAN cable and then go to custom and then go to automatic for IP address settings and then go to do not specify for DHCP host name. For DNS settings, go ahead and type this in. Type in 1.1.1.1 and then go to the secondary and type this in 1.0.0.1. Go to next and then for MTU settings, type in 1473, and then go to do not use for a proxy server, and then just test the internet connection and see if you are connecting to everything now successfully, and you have an upload and download speed for the connection. So here is my router right here, and if I turn this around and locate the power cord on the back, simply unplug it from the wall outlet for approximately 30 seconds to one minute, and completely hard reset that and then let it reboot and see if that fixes your internet problems. So here is my PlayStation 4. And for me, I bypassed the Wi-Fi completely by connecting it with this LAN cable. And I directly connect to my router. So this cable goes all the way down there directly to my router. And I get a much quicker, more reliable connection this way. So if you have that option, go ahead and directly connect. Then you don't have to worry about going through any walls or floors and having your Wi-Fi signal drop on you. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.